Hey everybody, I'm Derek Edwards. I'm Shane's first AC. Been working with Shane now for, wow, let's say 20 years. Today we're gonna go over what's in my kit. I've been asked tons and tons of times, hey, what do you keep in your kit? Hey, what do you keep in your kit? And even to this day, I'm even peeking into other first AC's kits to see what they have because you never know what's gonna help you out there. It's a new world. Uh, the film world is kind of doing one of these, so now we have a digital world, so me going into my kit, pulling out a ground glass puller, it's not gonna happen. We have all kinds of different tools that we have to resort to. Let's get an idea of what we have. Now, people joke at me and they laugh at me. One of the things that I like to uh, proceed and go first to is what I like to call my MERS. Now, I was actually on the job and production called me and they said, hey, you have a MERS on your kit rental form. And I said, yeah, yes I do. And they said, no, I have to see this thing. Production came down to set and she said, let me see this MERS. Pulled out my MERS and she looked in and she said, are you really kidding right now? I said, no, this is my MERS. When ACs carry it, they have to carry two fingers and they have to tiptoe to me. Have a little fun with it. Inside the MERS though is everything you can possibly need. This comes out of my case and it sits on the dolly right next to me. This is the new toy. Get it on Amazon for like 10 bucks, holds everything. I can go through everything, you see all the pockets. Anything I need, no matter what. If I say, hey, it's in the MERS, you're gonna find it in the MERS. Screwdrivers, wrenches, scissors. We're gonna start with my best friend, tape measure. This is a 16 foot Hilti. This is a Fat Max, and everyone asks why a Fat Max? The reason why? No AC in the end. I don't need a second AC running out there to help me grab it in the way. A lot of times what's happening is our DPs, our directors are talking to them so you can do it real easy. Not get in their face and you know, you can sneak out there. Uh, what it's said to be able to do is like 13 feet without breaking. And what you'll do is you'll find me, my second AC and whoever else has one on set doing this right here. <laughs> Trying to see how high up we can get in. It. it always turns into a test. This goes out to 16 feet. The reason I use this, we used to be able to see distances really easy. I used to be able to see six feet, about what you guys are to me right now, really easy, but it changed and everything is a lot sharper. So you have to be a little bit more precise on dealing with your distances. So right now, 16 feet. After 16 feet, I'm gonna pull out a different tool. I'm gonna pull out a soft tape measure, which also does the same thing, but this only comes out when I'm going those big distances. I have my Fat Max. My other best friend is my Hilti, it's my laser. Hilti is almost gonna replace this guy because what's happening is we're having to move a lot faster in the world. So for me to be able to pull my laser out and just throw a laser on something and get exact distance and be ready to go saves me, what, the two seconds that goes out there and people say, hey, two seconds. In this day and age, that camera doesn't cut, so two seconds is money now. So Hilti's the other best friend. So when you're seeing out there right now is pretty much my career. There's a lot of other tools that do help you pull focus, but these are essentials on set. As I keep going into the case, you're gonna see a lot more other things, whether you have them or not, whether other ACs have them or not, depends. And like I said, I'm still the guy looking to see who has what. When I first started, I used to go into my seconds case and peek and say, oh, you don't need this, you don't need this, and throw stuff out. And they look at me and they say, why? I say, okay, because I'm gonna show you, we're gonna get on set, we're gonna need these tools. Having a bunch of extra tools, I don't need a weight. I don't need extra weights just to carry around for no reason, especially in this day and age. Next, we always have our flashlights. I carry two different types of flashlights. Reason I carry these flashlights are for two things. Nowadays, you know, gotta look into things, and the other reason is to do camera flares. Everybody wants to have a camera flare. It always happens, one way or another. So I have a yellow light and I have a blue light, which you're seeing is two different flares. I'm not giving away any secrets, I hope, to any DPs out there who think that's a secret. Other, oh God, best friend. If you don't have these, get a pair. Go on Amazon, I don't care, go to the home store. Robo grips, gotta have a pair of robo grips. It's no more finger tight on this gear. Everything needs to almost be wrenched down. So we really, really get into tightening things down. Get a pair, I promise they'll save your life. Fat boy screwdrivers. I can't express more how much this guy has been part of my career. I've probably had 30 of these because people realize how good they are and they want to deal with it. 
to being able to have a perfect grip in my hand and just a stub nose, I can really get in tight instead of being way out here. I do have other screwdrivers, you know, for that situation, but putting on base plates, screwing in any bolts or whatever, this is my go-to guy right here. And then of course I have, you know, little guys for whatever other little things. Dealing with these cameras now, everything is so tedious. Everything is so small. We didn't get bigger. We got smaller. We got little baby screws and everything we have to deal with. So that's where it became a headache because now you have to have every Allen in the world. Here's one set. Everyone asks, why do you have 20 different sets of Allens? Sometimes you need an L-series Allen. Sometimes you need a straight Allen. Sometimes I have to go and pull out to my other tools and pull out big Allens. Everything is different now. So I have 20 different sets of Allens. Let's, let's count right now. One, two. These are all red Allens. As you see, they have their red mark their Allens, but you gotta have 20 red Allens now. So one, two, three. There's three right there. Got my speed wrench, because now I've been uh, dolly gripping and you gotta do your sliders and everything else. So that's there also. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, because Red blessed us with Star, so now we have to have torque wrenches. There's a set of torque. Here's another set of torque, my favorite. So now we have two sets of torques. Not done with the Allens. Here's another Allen, because you have to have American and Standard. Why? No. That, uh, more Red tools that are over here. Yeah, turns into Allen Hell. I think that's all the Allens that we have to deal with. Um, oh, sorry. And then I have Red's Allen. This will save you if you are in a Red job. It even gives you a stubby nose screwdriver to deal with. We'll save you on a Red job. This will fix every uh, problem you have. And it even gives you a measurement so you can know what size your screws are. Guys, learn the measurements of the screws between quarter 20, 5 eighths, and all that stuff. It's real easy. Everything else in here is basic stuff from chop to help mark the dolly, scissors, two sets of scissors, one to cut Velcro and sticky, one to cut non-sticky. Got to have. People, don't try to cut Velcro with the bad scissors because then you can't cut anything else, can't cut gels or anything. Learning lesson. What else do we have that's fun in here? Oh, God. Everybody is always in need of chargers nowadays. And people ask, why do you keep phone chargers? These are not phone chargers to me. I have little battery situations to where I can charge things and I create cables. Like this guy right here, this is DTAP to Samson charger on the end. Uh, one of the remotes that I use for follow focus has a Samsung battery in it. So, I need options of charging. I've also done situations to where I'll set up a GoPro. I'll put this guy right next to the GoPro, see how flat he is. Plugging this into the GoPro, battery never dies. Going six hours, not having to go in and fiddle with my cameras, because once you lock in those cameras, you want to be able to walk away. No, they're safe. No, there's enough battery. You don't want your DPs yelling at you, going crazy. Or you don't want to have to stress out about yourself. Six bucks on Amazon. Amazon's getting a lot of plug out of this, as you guys see. I live on Amazon. If you're on set, you can buy things on Amazon real quick at your house when you get home. Gotta love it. So I have a big boy, and of course I have, I'm sorry, I have a skinny and I have a big boy. This guy has a flashlight on it also, just in case. And I won't lie, I did buy an adapter to charge my iPhone, so just in case, you know, charge your iPhone too. I am that guy. This guy lives in the case. Anything else in the MERS is just pens, um, Sharpies, rags to clean uh, your lenses off. Um, I carry around my own belling wire. Um, like I said, we try to move really, really fast. So having to go run to grips and say, hey, can I get some belling wire? Now you're sending another department off to do something that if you probably had once, you could roll up and throw it in your merch. No one ever tell. Belling wire has saved me in many situations. We do a lot of crane shots, overhead shots. All it is is a safety. You lock off your map box, you can lock off your flag, you can even help your press and hold onto the motor if the motor's popping off. I've, I've used this in so many different situations. I'm not sure why I haven't went out and bought my own just big thing of belling wire. I've probably used this piece though a uh, hundred times. It's probably been working since semi-pro, let's say that. Um, so, you know, it's 
Little things, it's easy to have. Once you start getting too much, it just ends up living in your case and you don't look at it for 20,000 years and then your case becomes this huge weight. This case goes everywhere for me. I go to the airport, once it's time to travel, I just close it, I throw a lock on it. Airport safety lock, of course, and it just travels with me. It goes everywhere I want. I used to have this big bag, which was probably yay big, with 100 things in it and I never saw the bottom of the bag. Went out and got a Pelican, I put a Trek pack in it, and as you see, it's all laid out. I don't have foam, I don't have uh, dividers with Velcro going everywhere. Everything is laid out. I can see everything in my bag, know exactly where to go. I'm not searching for anything. Makes it life real easy. Like I said, my Merce is my best friend. This, this comes out, hey look, another wrench. This guy comes out and this is all I need.